It's been an extraordinary day. We smashed the temperature before midday today. That's incredible in itself. Maximum temperatures normally come around 12. We can see that it's been an absolute broad area of extreme heat. When I say extreme heat, extreme normally refers to an outlier, but this is pretty much the norm for today. Temperatures well above that 38.7 degrees Celsius. And then let's look at the actual temperature, which was broken, that's 40.3 degrees Celsius in Coningsby. There was a massive hike from the last record of 1.6 degrees. That's huge in terms of smashing that record. In the last few decades, we have seen records broken, but an increment of a couple of tenths of a degree. So this, that in itself is unbelievable. And I've just had a, um, a chat with the Met Office and provisionally Scotland have now broken their record as well. Charter Hall in Borders has seen a temperature of 34.8 degrees Celsius. That needs to be verified. And finally, nighttime temperatures, which obviously we all have been impacted by. But again, a huge hike in minima temperature, um, not only in Yorkshire, but also in London. So it's been an unbelievable day and not for the right reasons. We're going to be back in. Good news, things are cooling down, although tomorrow the risk of thunderstorms towards the south and east of England. However, through this evening, it's oppressively hot. The air is thick with high humidity and high heat. Thunderstorms across eastern counties will clear as the rain moves up towards the northern isles. A few thunderstorms, though, rumble on across the far southwest of England. It's going to be a tropical night, though, eastern and central parts of England. So another very muggy start to the day, uncomfortable overnight for sleeping. Through tomorrow morning, then some bright skies. The cloud clears across eastern Scotland and then thunderstorms develop in situ across England and Wales. That thunderstorm warning kicks in around lunchtime, anywhere from the wash towards the Severn south eastwards. Expect some slow moving and heavy downpours, the risk of thunder and lightning. Some fine conditions elsewhere, always showers though towards the west and temperatures a good 10 degrees lower than what we've seen today. Still very warm towards the east. A pleasant day all round on Thursday with some sunshine. Temperatures typically the high teens into the mid-20s. But the risk of some thundery showers as we head through Friday across more southern areas. And again, some sunshine coming through as temperatures typically coming in 17 to 24 degrees Celsius. Pleasantly warm. Pollen levels will slowly rise over the next 48 hours. But good news tomorrow if you do suffer from hay fever. Counts will be around low to moderate. That's for grass as well as weed. But look at the outlook through Thursday. Yes, moderate to high across many areas away from the southeast. Bye bye. Yes, you're absolutely right, Dan. And looking at those wildfires now, it's something that we haven't really thought about before. Yes, we do have a wildfire season, but it's very low in risk. It happens on grasslands, moorlands. But as we go into more climate change impacts with warmer and wetter winters, allowing for more plant growth and then drier, hotter summers where that vegetation dries out, allowing for fuel, which then gets sparked by lightning or campfires or barbecues, then yes, we will be seeing more in the way of these wildfires. And in fact, do you know, we love our summers here in the UK. We embrace summertime because we want to see some sunshine. We don't want to be fearful that we're going to be going home and seeing our house on fire. So my heart goes out to everybody at the moment who is impacted by those fires and certainly something we really have to consider in our future. Claire, thank you very much. We're going to leave it there because we've just got a bit of breaking news to bring you.